So in the workshop, we have a metal working area where we have a plasma cutter, um, welding bench, MIG welder, and a spot welder. So all forms of um, metal joining, so we can be making um, small pieces or large structural work um, to large scale sculpture. Over here we've got a new laser cutter for cutting steel and stainless steel. So we can cut out any kind of shape we want. The pieces can be taken out of here, we can be bent or rolled or folded and then continue to be worked with in the metal working area to um, make either component parts or larger scale st structures using the same equipment. We have two workbenches um, which are bookable, so you can book the workbench um, to work on your own or as a group. Um, when you book a bench, you have access to all the equipment within this workshop. Over here we have a metal band saw, pillar drill, sanding equipment, as well as a whole variety of hand tools that are all for use when booking a workbench. There's a whole array of clamps for working building stretchers. We also have cordless tools, um, which can be used within the workshop or be booked out to take back to the studios to um, continue working with or if you need to hang some work. Over here we have a, another laser cutter. This is our open access one, so students who are trained can come here and, and just book this machine to use on their own. Here we've got the technical office where myself and Katie are based, and through the back we have um, our storeroom where we keep materials that can be bought on the website, as well as um, larger cutting equipment that are for technicians only, but so we can cut and prepare materials um, on order. Hi there, uh, welcome to the Annex. Um, students can book spaces in here to work with clay and you can also work with plaster in this room here. Um, through in this room we have three kilns, so we've got two larger ones and then one smaller one behind the door. We've also got a fan oven which can be quite useful as well for drying things out and melting flat sheets of plastic so they're going to be um, able to be formed into different shapes and things. Uh, the kilns are normally fired at least once a week um, so your work will be moving through the process as fast as we can. Um, you can see on the shelves here we've got some students work that is moving gradually through the process so the stuff that you see on here is at different stages. Um, over here we've got two potter's wheels so if you're interested in throwing on the wheel you can book those um, and we're more than happy to guide you through that process if that is something that you would like to learn. We've got all of the tools that you need for working with clay um, but if you have your own tools you're more than welcome to bring those. Uh, over here you can see that we've got this wet back glaze spray booth um, so that's really good for applying glaze or slip um, to get a good coverage on maybe larger items that you might have made um, and then in this cupboard you can see that we've got um, a range of different slips, oxides, underglazes and glazes in there for you to decorate the surface of your ceramic work. Um, we've also got this area in the corner which can be used for working with plaster so you can make moulds and things for uh, clay pieces that you might be making or you maybe want to work with plaster just by itself more sculpturally. Um, at the back of this room you can see that we've got two uh, these are two empty rooms, they're called installation spaces and students can book those out for a couple of days and you'll be able to set up an installation in there and it'll be undisturbed and untouched by anyone else. Um, so they're quite handy if you've got to set up a larger, larger piece. 
Um, in the annex as well, you will have weekend access and evening access to here. Um, so this is a space where you can work on a little bit later. Um, here we've got a, a air bench so you can sand things on here and it means that you're not going to be breathing any of that dust in so that's going to be taking all of that dust out of the atmosphere that you're working in and then over in this room um, this is a spray room so you can spray aerosols in here um, and then you can see on the back it's got this huge extraction unit so you're not going to be breathing any of those fumes in that you're using in this room.